Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. I'd like to welcome you here to this video. What I'm going to be covering today will probably be one of the most important videos on trading you ever watch. Please don't underestimate what I'm going to be showing you today. I encourage you to have a notebook and pen ready because whether or not you ever become a client of mine, a member, uh, you'll be able to still take away some brilliant ideas from basically 27 years of researching the trading industry. I'm going to be sharing with you, I don't really want to say some breakthrough ideas because I've been around for years, but a number of strategies I've put together which will make an enormous difference to your trading, whether you're a brand new trader, experienced or maybe a struggling trader. Now, it's going to take some time, but it's not rocket science. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of background, then we'll go to the charts. Now, today we're going to be focusing on the micro NQ. However, what I show you, you can apply to any market, whether it be stocks, futures or Forex. It does not matter. And perhaps you'll start to understand why that is as I get into this. Now, I also need to ask you to be open-minded. That is, unfortunately, we live in a world today where we're skeptical about everything. Now, what I want you to do is to be open-minded. Doesn't mean you don't verify the strategy's work, but be open-minded because it will make a massive difference. Uh, some other key points I've got here, look, I'll probably go half an hour to 45 minutes. It's important you watch it all the way through to really start to get it. Um, let's see, I've already mentioned it. It's applicable to any market. I'll start with the micros and, and I'm gonna do a series of videos on this, but I'm gonna start with the micros because it allows you to start with a smaller account. And it doesn't matter whether you've got 10, 20, 50, a million dollars right now, I'd still, encourage you, you start with a small account and you build from there. So what we're going to do now, I'll stop the recording so we can get full screen and uh, let's get into this. Okay, so how to scalp and day trade any market. As I mentioned, our focus today is on the micro NQ. Now it's only 50 cents a tick, uh, so or $2 a point. So we're looking at what we call four point Renko candles and I'll explain why Renko in a moment. And you can apply this as you'll see to any type of chart, which is 16 ticks. Uh, I've already mentioned you can apply it to any type of market. I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading and naturally traders, even if you were to join me and you'd actually hear it even more so if you join as a member, just how risk adverse I am. In other words, we start off on the simulator and we build from there. Time is very, very important. That is, you give yourself that time. Now, very, very quickly, if you haven't already, quick advertisement, please request my free book on the truth about day trading. Even more importantly, traders, for $197, everything I'm showing you or going to be showing you here today, you can gain for $197. All my indicators, the dozens of PowerPoints, the hundreds of handouts, it's the most comprehensive program in the world today. Plus, I'm going to give you one month of my live coaching classes. If you can't attend live, you can watch the recording. So I do two live, two hour sessions every week. I've got around 200 traders that attend these. Make no mistakes traders, this is a $10,000 plus program. Uh, and you'll perhaps understand that as I now get into this. So relax, we're through the advertisement. Let's now get into this. Now, some people, when I start to explain this, their eyes may glaze over. You don't actually have to understand the science behind it, but please understand that this is real and it's made a massive difference to my trading. And as you will see some feedback from my members, I'm not gonna show you a heap of testimonials, but some emails from members just on their results and what they've found. So first of all, I'm gonna be talking to you today about using multiple time frames, and there's a reason for that. And you may have heard of fractals. Fractals are something that we have appear in uh, snowflakes, uh, it appears in leaves, uh, 
pyramids and it also appears in trading. And there's been a lot of books now uh, written about fractals. And I think Bill Williams is perhaps uh, really a just the, the number one when it comes to trading. He wrote the excellent book, New Trading Dimensions and Trading Chaos, where he spends a lot of time in those books talking about fractals. Now, what is a fractal? A fractal is a pattern that appears on all time frames. So um, patterns appear in the market each and every day. And so if you look at a daily chart, a certain pattern that appears there will appear on an hourly chart, it'll appear on a five minute chart, it'll appear on a tick chart, on a Renko chart, and I'm gonna be showing you some of these patterns today. So you'll start to get a really good idea on this because what you'll discover is that I use three charts. I have an entry chart, I then have what we call an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two. Now to begin with, you can get away with just two time frames. So what we're doing is executing trades on our entry chart in the direction of the anchor chart one and two. And you'll discover that the same patterns that appear on the higher time frames set up on the smaller time frames, just in a smaller version, and vice versa. And it will make a massive difference to your trading. Now, the market has a memory. We see these patterns in the market every day, and we'll actually go and look at um, current price action as well. So I want to be really quick because I want to get to the live charts as well as go through some marked up charts to start to give you a really good idea. Now on the type of charts, now you can apply this to a time based chart, to a tick chart, to a volume. Today I'm going to be using Renko. Now Renko for this is one of my favorite charts because it makes it very easy for me to use what I call a buy stop or a sell stop for placing my orders. And in fact, I actually use a tick and a Renko together because the, the, one of the benefits of Renko, it smooths out price action, but a disadvantage is you can miss out on a lot of information as well. So I'll refer to a tick chart and if we've got time, I'll show you how I do that on a regular basis as well. So we'll look at Renko, but you can apply it to anything. Now, what is very, very important traders is that you have a target. Not having an income goal is like a ship without a rudder. Um, when the why is big enough, the how will appear. You've got to have a target. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve these targets day in and day out. Now, as an idea here, if you start off trading a micro with $2,200, and I know your broker will tell you that you can start with a lot less, but we need to be cautious with that and you'll see why. Uh, and if you were to earn $100 a day, okay, 10, 000, you'd be up to an income of 10,000 a week within 17 weeks. Let me just quickly show you this because this is um, uh, really important. So let's just say here that based upon what I'm about to show you, you started with $2,000, okay? And just say here that you average $75 a day. Be open-minded, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that in a moment. So if you had $2,000 and every time you earn a further 200,000, you start trading another contract. So a very, very conservative increase program. So we can see over here, it would take us uh, by six weeks, in six weeks, we're starting to trade two contracts and we keep increasing those contracts. Now what we can see here is our weekly income. So on this basis, by week 22, I have a potential of earning 10,000 a week by earning $75 a day. Now, let's just say I start off with 2,200 and uh, it would take me then to uh, 24 weeks. But then if I was to increase my earnings to $100 a day, uh, I can be up to 10,000 a week within 17 weeks. Now, what's very important here with this calculation is I'm never risking any more than 2%. This is very, very important. 2% maximum risk, we double our money, uh, then we start trading another account. Now, realistically, for the experienced traders in the room, we can see hypothetically, 
by week 23, uh, 24, you'd be trading 100 micros. Well, what you actually do trade is, is once you get up to uh, between say 15 and 20 contracts, micro contracts, you'd start trading the big contract. Okay, so down here you'd be trading um, uh, 10 of the NQ mini contracts, not the micros, so because it's 10% of a value. So um, relax on that, you're not gonna be trading 100 because also with the micros, the commissions are higher in proportion to your return. Now, also very important, we're looking for what we call the 80% trades and Dick Diamond wrote an excellent book on trading and he talks about that his question to himself is if it's not an 80% trade, he doesn't take the trade. Now, we're also gonna be focusing on trend trading as you'll see in a moment. Now, I'll point out some counter trends as we go to the charts, but it's very, very important that to achieve this, particularly as a newer trader, we focus only on two different types of setups, very easy to learn, trend following, okay, and we trade one market, very important. Now, this is where I might lose you a little, but I'll, I'll try to explain this the best I can. Now, first of all, I'm gonna have, even though this is, is really a public video, I'm gonna have some members watch this. So members that are watching this, if you go to the members area, you will find these handouts in the folder called chart timeframes. Okay, so all of the handouts and you'll find a video there. So particularly if you're a new member and not in the coaching classes yet, there is the video there on how we establish and the formula to the time frame that we use. Now also there is a folder there, micro e-minis. So go and have a look and download the cheat sheets uh, from the micro e-minis. And just one more uh, I wanna show you. For an example, uh, we're about to go into the March coaching, but if you go into the uh, session one of any one of the months that you first join, you'll see chart timeframes as well and the 34B handouts, and you'll also have the 2B uh, PowerPoints there as well. So you'll be able to download the 34B and the 2B handouts. Now for the public that are watching this, let me quickly explain this. So I'm gonna be talking to you about steps and it'll be logical when we go to the charts. Now I'm really after between five and seven steps as a minimum per trade. Five, five steps will gross me $20, seven, 28. The risk parameter on average is going to be $25 a trade per contract. Now, this is important when it comes to the 2% rule. Let, let me just say this. Um, say for an example, today it is uh, Thursday, it's the end of uh, February, it's the end of the month, and we've seen some very high volume. And quite traditionally, towards the end of each month, the last week of month, we generally have high volume. A four point Renko may be a little bit too fast for you. So what we do is we jump up to a seven point. Now, with a seven point, Entering the way I'm gonna show you, your risk would be $42 a trade if you were to get stopped out. What that would mean is staying within a 2% rule. Uh, if you had a $2,200 account, 2% 2 of $2,200 is $44. So you've got $42 there on your risk and a commission. We'll allow $2, it's less than that, but let's just say $2. Now. Up here, if you then are trading a 16 tick, your risk is a lot less, it's only $25. So you could easily get away with around $1,500, $1,600 in your account. But what is important traders is that you always have that additional margin, particularly when you first start trading. Because you've got to move away from focusing on the individual trade, you've got to be focused on the law of probabilities because you can't have three losing trades in a row. And unfortunately what happens is, a trader has three losing trades in a row, they haven't been taught proper money management. And you know what, I've even probably got people watching this video thinking, oh yeah, and they, they're probably hanging up now. They don't wanna hear it. But of course, they're the ones that have usually blown their account continually. You've gotta follow that money management rule of a maximum of 2% and have that little buffer.
So ideally, that's why I say around $2,000 to $2,200, not what your broker tells you, you can start trading with. You've got to work on your risk. So we're going to be focused on the 16 tick. We want to be uh, on average, averaging between $20 and $28. So if we then go and say take the seven step and you'll see what that is in a moment, you basically only need four of those a day, four of those a day and you've achieved your $100 a day which will get you to this 10,000 earnings a week in 17 weeks. Now by the way, in 17 weeks your capital has grown to 57,000 and you can just see then the massive effect if you can continue to, to uh, compound at that rate. Now, some here's what we're looking at. The dark line represents the higher time frame. What we want to be doing traders is having an anchor chart which gives us an overall trend direction, looking for a pullback uh, on the uh, entry chart, our lower time frame, and then trading trend continuation. You'll see some great divergence trades, I'll point those out as well, but we really want to be trading in the direction of that higher time frame. Now, what I'm going to be really talking about and what prompted me to do this was uh, one of my members in my coaching sent me this on the um, 21st of a second this year, just last week. And uh, we talk a lot about in our coaching sessions about affirmations, uh, neuro-linguistics, um, creating the mindset, a whole lot of stuff because trading really is 90% head stuff. In many ways, the setups are easy. It's about following the rules. So even though he's in SIM, I just want you to be open-minded to this for a moment. I had another great week in SIM, one just to write to report that. Next step, slowly move to live. I'm sticking to the micro four point for now, I'm loving it. It's more liquid than the mini. On day 750,000 turnover, it moves really well. I strongly recommend it. There's one thing which I've taught my members is always use the T1. Always, always, always. Now that's my super scalper, which you will see. And I should point out that virtually every indicator I use is available on every trading platform. Okay, so there's no expensive indicators to have to go and buy whatsoever. Nearly every platform will replicate what I do. Uh, I've just got a couple of custom indicators, but even if you've got a platform where my super scalper won't work on, um, it's a simple pattern and once you know the rules anyway, it's very easy to understand. But back to this, I can't get the RO1, that's the rule of one to work. I only find a 58% win rate for the T2. That's what we call a slingshot. Under certain, it's very specific rules. But why bother with that when the bounces work so well? You mentioned a 2B last week. And that is some of our key setups, I, I've coded them and it just makes it easy. We've got the 21B, we got the 34B, we got the 89B and the 2B. They're sort of our key setups. Oh, I back tested it manually over 500 trades. On the four point simple rules, I get a 72% win rate. Not as high as the 34B, 85% on the same market. And this wasn't in his email, but in the coaching session yesterday, um, some of the members just asked him about his risk reward and that was on a one-to-one -one basis. Okay, not too shabby. Real life trading is going to be a bit lower, but not much. The only trick is no 21Bs after a T19. A T19 is a divergent setup. Okay, so you've got to be careful with that. Once again, these are patterns that you learn. Thank you again for everything. Now, is that sort of a fluke? The big thing is, now I just want to show you very quickly this other PowerPoint. And this is going back to 2015-16 with another setup. And this is trading oil, the black gold. So as I mentioned, these setups you can use on any market. Uh, and this is from uh, one of my members sent to this in Ray just completed doing the back testing on the 34B. Now remember what was um, uh, that member, other member reporting 85%. Here we've got a win loss ratio of 82%. Uh, that's on one test. Now what he was doing there was different stop loss and targets. But then we've got another one here, increased to 84%. Uh, look at that profit factor. And, and his comment was, if only we could learn to trade the 34B like a monkey on the oil. And so 
it really comes down to the strategies work on every market and every time frame. Now, this is where I want you to think about this very carefully, what I'm about to say. Because the markets are fractal, you get, can have a 34B set up on an entry chart, uh, on your anchor chart one, on an even higher time frame again, it sets up and the win loss ratio virtually on any time frame you're trading is going to be around the same because the markets are fractal. So if you enter uh, on your entry chart, the lower time frame, a 34B that's just set up or in the process of setting up on a higher time frame, you can have a much larger return. And I'm going to be showing you that. That's how you can hit your profit target a lot quicker. Now, really, a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's go to the charts and have a look at this. So where are we here? Let's um, go to this. Now, what I've done here is just mark this up. We actually use this in the coaching session uh, yesterday. So in the coaching session, uh, twice a week, we go over dozens of setups uh, or potential setups. And so we'll look at what's happening in market live and I'll point out live setups and we'll look at what's happened during the day. So this is the Globex uh, open the after hours market. So uh, the market opens at uh, 5 p.m. Central or 6 p.m. Eastern, and there's some great trading after hours. If say, if you're going to learn to trade and you don't have the, or you can't make it during the day, after hours is a great time. You get home from work to cut your teeth, it really is. So let's have a look at this. So the market opens, and let me just pull this over. Now, first of all, our number one thing, always, 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 traders, is what is the trend bias of the market? This is absolutely critical. We know what the bias of a market is. So what we do is we look at our entry chart, our anchor chart one and anchor chart two, and we have a formula that we use for these charts. For an example, the four point Renko is too fast. It's really too fast for many traders. So that's where you might jump up to the seven. You can jump up to a six, but if you were to use a six, we've got a formula that we use to set up your anchor chart one and two because they sing together. They're all in tune together. Now we've got a different, so you've got a set formula that you use on Renko and range charts, and we've got one for um, uh, that you use the same one, you use for tick, time-based charts, volume charts, etc. And the reason Renko and range is different is of course, they plot based upon the trading range. So the market opens. So what I want to point out to you is this, look over at your anchor charts. Number one, what is the bias of the market at this stage? We are quite clearly in a downtrend, okay? And see how we're bouncing off up here, our 89. Okay, so we're bouncing here and we're bouncing here. What we've got there is what we call a 3B. I've got three bounces, okay? Very high probability. Why? We're following a trend. I've got multiple time frames confirming the trade direction. Now, I want you to remember this 89B here, okay, where we're bouncing because one of the strategies that I teach you and this is sort of more of a slightly advanced strategy. So after your first month, you'd introduce this and we call it the T12. And what you'll discover is this. On your entry chart, quite often you'll have an EMA overshoot, but you look over at your anchor chart and you're bouncing off one or two major EMAs, usually either the 89 or the 200. And these are very, very high probability trades. So where we look at it normally on a chart, we think, oh, look, we're going sideways, maybe a little bit of divergence, not a whole lot. What do I do? We look over here and we've got what we call a T12 setup. We see my white paint bar there? That's the super scalper. That does not appear until we have a down tick past the second candle, like up here. We've got to have an uptick above the second candle. 
second candle, second candle. And there's no other rules that go with it, but bottom line is we've got what we call a T12 right there. Let's look at another example. See how I'm bouncing again, bouncing again, bouncing again. Now you can actually use these as what we call, and, and look down here, sorry, see you bounce there on the 89, you're bouncing off the 200, you're bouncing off the 89, okay? We see this every single day in the market. Yes, we've got some additional rules that we'll use, okay? So you've got one there, you've got one, you'd enter that one there, and then you've got this one here. Okay. And we see these patterns and these are patterns that appear in the market each and every day. So back onto this. So what I've got is a short. Now, remember I said to you, we're after steps. See how, this, see how these look like steps here, All right? So we call these steps. Now on this particular time frame, each step there is worth $4. Okay, so per contract you're trading is every step you have there is $4. Now, the market opens, you then have um, uh, a short trade right there. Now, ideally, you're after seven steps or greater. Okay, seven steps or more. Now, five steps is $20. You're going to have more five-step trades than what you have seven-step trades. You'll have more seven than what you have 20-step trades. And we also then look at how do we identify the trades where we potentially then will get much bigger moves. So there's some rules that we run with traders that will give us these much larger moves in the marketplace. So let me just get something here. So I just wanted to pull this up here. So on the seven step, which we'll use in faster markets. See, one of the advantages of using your lower time frame is your stop loss is smaller. Okay, so $25 to 42. Now, one of the challenges you have when you're trading a really low time frame is you can have a lot more chop. There's a lot more what we call noise in the market. But I, um, I just want you to think about this for a moment. This is still 16 ticks. Now, if you were trading the big contract and you were risking 16 ticks, your total risk for these entries would be $250. That's right. And if risking $250 is sort of, oh, that'll give me a heart attack initially per contract. If you're trading 10 lots, that's two and a half thousand you could drop. Now, remember I said to you, once you get up to maybe 20, 30 contracts, you start trading a big contract, but likewise, you've got in your account 22,000 per contract margin as well. So the lower the time frame, okay, the lower the risk we have. However, the market needs to be tradable. Now, also very, very important, what can go wrong with what I'm about to show you? It's really, if it's too fast, okay? So I don't wanna hear, oh, look, you know, this won't work on this or that. The only time this strategy will not work is in pumping markets where it's too fast to execute. So let's get back to this. All right here, I'm entering on the close of a third. I'm in on this fourth candle, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and it ticked down well and truly below the fifth candle. Now, I recommend if you're trading one contract, scalp the crap out of it. That's what we say in the coaching room, is scalp the crap out of it, all right? Go for your five or six steps. As soon as you hit four or five steps down, you go to break even, okay? And I'll show you in a moment how we pick up the runners. Now we've got what we call a 2B to the long side. Now, see this here? This is actually a 2B, but you're really counter trend trading here. Why? What's the trend direction? Look at this, we're in a downtrend. So yes, you can take it, but we're heading uh, down. And this is actually the comment I probably got there on that. Now, what have I got here? I've now got another 3B. Look at our trend. And I've even got some divergence here. See that traders? See that divergence I've got? I've got a double top. I have divergence. What's the direction of my trend? 
we're in a downtrend. So I take this trade again and now is a great time to go for a runner. Why? I've got divergence on my higher time frames as well. And let me just ask you this and have you think about this. When you have divergence on a chart, which chart gives you the stronger divergence signal? Your entry chart, which is your lowest time frame, or your time frame two times higher, four times higher? Your higher time frames. Okay, so when you've got divergence on your higher time frames, that also dramatically improves the probability of a successful trade. Now, if we on this particular here, we go, when we've got a good 89B, one there, one there, and a 34B on our higher time frames, then is a great time to go for what we call a 10 step move. 10 steps is $40. So when's the best time to go for your runners traders? When you've got higher EMA bounces on your higher time frames. Okay, now we're now coming down. This is what you call angulation. See that there? This is what they call angulation. And right down the bottom here, we then come down, we come down, we come down, okay? And what have I got? Okay, let me just pull this over for you. Look over at your anchor chart two. See that right there? Remember that PowerPoint I showed you with the T12? Look what you're bouncing off. You're bouncing off the 89 EMA. Thank you very much. You know, I'm ideally, and, and where's my entry? On the close of a third, just above the third, I'll use a buy stop. And that's a beautiful part of the Renko. You see, see this, the low of this candle, or even we look at this up here, see the high of that candle? We've got a simple formula that we use. You, when you're going up like this, you count down from the top of that and it tells you where on your DOM, or your dome, to actually have your resting sell stop ordering. That way, when you get your first reversal candle, if it takes off like a rocket, you automatically get stopped in at the desired point. Now, we actually call this get ready, get set, go. So price is coming up. You know you're heading up to the 200. So what's gonna happen? We usually get a bounce. So we get ready, we're ready. First reversal candle, you put your sell stop in and there's simply a, a countdown that we use, which tells us where to put that in. Likewise here, I would have been stopped into that trade on the high, a bit higher than that candle. My stop loss goes under. I'm after a minimum of five steps. Okay, let me just scroll along here. Now we're one, two, three, four, five, and it's basically hit nearly six steps. And we've also hit the pivot. Now, what about this here? See where I say CT? This is a counter trend move, not a with trend. Why? What's happening on my anchor chart too? Look at the trend. Remember, the higher time frame gives you the more reliable trend direction. Okay, so then we had a couple of, uh, and right here then we had a, a, a 3D divergence, which I don't want to get into, and it's a T12, which is a very, very high probability trade. Let's keep it simple to begin with. Okay, now we've come up, it's a little bit of divergence called a T19, that's what we call that. So I should point out, uh, anyone from the public, uh, when you become a member, we've actually got a, um, I don't want to call them, we don't call them cheat sheets anymore, information chart where all of these codes and you, you pick these up. And this is another thing, traders, look, you've got to give yourself 60 to 90 days to master the art of the main setups, okay? Traders, they, you know, they think they can read a book, um, uh, you know, it's a bit like if you wanted to learn how to play the piano, or even swim. Can you do that by reading a book or by watching a video? Very unlikely. It takes instruction and time. All right, so give yourself time. So anyway, we're now getting a pullback. Now, what I want to show you here is this. We look at our anchor charts. We're now getting a retracement. What is the direction on our anchor charts? We're now in an uptrend. 
So what I'm looking for here is the first reversal candle. Now, even though that shows the paint bar, that's part of a super scalper, what you would see initially is one green paint bar. Okay, um, sorry, one green candle. I know they're called bricks, by the way. I just call them um, uh, bars. So one green paint bar, or sorry, one green bar, and the paint bar does not appear until the third. Okay, that won't appear until the third. So what I've got there is what we call a 2B. Why is that a 2B? I'm bouncing on my anchor charts here and I'm bouncing here. Thank you very much. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I only achieve six and we punched up above. I'm ideally after seven um, steps as a minimum. Now, I don't know if I finished saying this before. If you're trading multiple contracts, you want to get the cash register ringing with your first contract. So we first batch your contract. So we go for five steps. Uh, then you can go for your runners and I'll show you in a moment uh, how we get our runners, okay? How we can get the really good runners like these. And there's a couple of visual tools which I'll quickly show you in a moment. Now, always, 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 we're looking at this, okay? We've now rallied up, got a good high. What's that there? We've got a little double top. Uh, and we've got divergence, we've got divergence. This is what we call, by the way, traders, a 2D pivot bounce. Now, you don't wanna be trading these initially in your trading career, okay? It's a counter trend trade. You don't trade those. You only wanna be trading with the trend initially, okay? With the trend. Now, right here now, we're now getting a lot of chop, okay? now. That one there is a counter trend trade because you're selling into a rising market. Okay, we're sideways. Why don't we traders just sit this out for now? Because what you can do is just sit this out until we start to get a good trend, a meaningful trend. Now, and what we actually call it, we call it a fanning of the EMAs. Unfortunately, so many traders suffer from what we call FOMO, fear of missing out. So here's the rules. Looking at my EMAs here, here you can see they're fanning apart. Are they fanning here? Hell no, okay, they're sideways. What about here? We're sideways. My main EMAs are still in an uptrend on the anchor chart too, which is good. So the bias is to the long side but this is really choppy crap, okay? The market's been open an hour or so, it's choppy. So I'm going to look for now another long, let's, let's see, I'm looking for a breakout. I don't have it yet, okay? I still don't have it. Come down, this is called a pivot by the way, so you learn how to trade pivots. And what I've now got right there is a great pivot bounce. So for pivot traders, you know what we're looking at there, we've got a great double bottom. Look at this here. I've got divergence. I've got divergence, okay? A double bottom on the pivot. I want to take this as a long. Now, if you're a new trader, I'm just gonna turn my air conditioner off here. Uh, that can be a little confusing. So don't take it yet. What you wanna do is wait for your fanning. Where you'll start to get is you really wanna look for a breakout above here and a pullback. So now we've got that breakout and remember 34 Bs were 85% and his 21 Bs on this market were about 72, 74%. So that's what we're looking at. Now these two Bs, which he didn't give you the stats are actually the best of the best, which um, uh, that's a two B by the way. So what I'm looking for now is a retracement. Now look at this, see that there? This is what we call a fanning of the EMAs. Look down here, my long-term stochastic. Now, if you're a pure, is, is, is oversold, overbought, sorry, I should say. Now, if you're a pure price action trader, you don't need these indicators. They're, look, indicators, the reason I call them indicators, they indicate what may be happening. So they can be a really nice confirmation tool. Okay, so if you're a pure price action trader, all you need is the EMAs here. So, what I've now got is my super scalpers plotted for a counter trend trade, 
now I'm going to get ready for a with trend trade. So it's probably going to come back down to either the 21 or the 34 or the 89. Bang. There's my first green candle. Second, third, I'm now going to go long. So this is one of our 72, 74% trades. This is what we call a 21B. Okay, away we go. Now, up we go. Uh, you do have, that is actually what um, uh, is what we call a rule of one. If it was actually mentioned, there's a certain way you trade those. Um, but anyway, we come up there. Now, I've got another potential counter trend move. I'm not interested in that. I'm looking for trend only. Okay, back here. Ah, there it is there. I've got another one. Got another long. Now there we've got one. Oh, your entry is on the close of a third. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You would be out of that. You wouldn't want to wait for that full pullback. Now, we've now got another trade. You're not in until the third. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're up at the pivot. When you hit the pivot traders, now is the time that you pull your stops right up. Okay, if you're trailing, you want to pull it right up because you nearly always will get at the pivot a reversal. See this pivot reversal here acting as support here to act as resistance and bang, there it is there. Okay, price pulls back. Now I've got another potential long, but if I was to scroll and I don't want to scroll along here because it'll give away too much what I'm trying to show you here. Uh, what I have got marked up there, it's a 2D, which means I've got double divergence. So I definitely do not want to take this trade here. When you've got double divergence, it's now turning a little, most of these closed trades will all fail. When you've got strong divergence on higher time frames, you do not want to take a trade, a with trend trade. And this is why it's very important traders that over time you learn what exactly divergence trading is because this is where a lot of divergence traders blow their account. So many traders, um, they just want to be able to pick market highs and market lows, tops and bottoms. And of course they get killed by doing that because there's certain things you've got to be really aware of when to stop trading a trend and when it may turn. And we actually call any the first trade after these, we call a 2BD if it qualifies. And actually we've got one right here, right there. That's what we call a 2BD. And there's a few reasons why that you could enter here. It is a higher risk trade. Okay, so you could enter. And actually if you entered that, you would have been fine. It's now formed a little double top here. And if you didn't take it there, you've now got another entry. Now, what I've got there is the comment, note, it's probably gonna say, note the strength of a trend is this. See this here, look at that there, and look what's happening here. Now, when you jump into a river, so if you've got a fast flowing river, do you swim against it to swim upstream, or do you wanna go with the river? You wanna swim with the river. And that's why it's so important, traders, that you learn to swim with the river. So if you didn't take that one, your re-entry there is right here on this one. Now, let me just see, and then we'll go to the live charts. Uh, like right just, just there, okay? Uh, well, this one actually right there. So you actually would have, that there is a 21B on a higher time frame. And there's an even better one. How do we know when to go for the runners, the really big moves? When we have major bounce on, like see that there? You've got one right there. When you've got that, now that may not look like much, but when you've got a major EMA bounce on a higher time frame, all right, and these are what we call all fractal in nature. Remember we're talking about fractals? Look at this one here. That there is this here. So that here is called a 200 EMA overshoot. And look at that there. And look at that move there. That's a good 15 so steps. That's a good 60, $70 per contract. Now, how much? That's the equivalent, by the way, of $600 on a big contract. Okay? Remember, our goal is $100 a day. 
now what I want you to then and just while we're here and then we'll go to the live charts let me just show you this and how effective this is see how we're continually bouncing off these same moving averages okay there's your chop and slop there so I've got mm, yes no maybe when you start to go sideways that's when we've got to be really cautious now here we get a nice breakout we then rally up to the 200 what's happening on my anchor chart one anchor chart one look at this my EMAs are heading down what's happening on anchor chart two my EMAs are heading down I've now if ever you're not sure by the way you wait for the first candle on your anchor chart one to close it'll put you in a little bit later but if ever you get a really deep pullback or retracement like even here see that there you wait for these candles to close now see that one just there see that tail that would have looked like a reversal but then it shot back the other way and this is why you've got to wait for it to close now what that means is you would actually be in here so you're going to be in one brick later four dollars later but you wait for that to close when you've got these deep pullbacks likewise you get a really big deep pullback here I'm going to wait until here till I get in here because what I've now got on my anchor chart one the brick closing the candle in the direction of the trend let's talk targets for a moment now we can see here traders these are called pivot levels these are price magnets look and we've been bouncing all around them uh, we see this each and every day they've become what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders follow them so we look down here and obviously and this is why you've got to know where they are so you can see right down here we've got a pivot now that's called a midline pivot and then we've got weekly we've got daily so I won't get into pivots now but first of all I want to look at where's where's my last major swing low it's down here now I look over here I can also see on my anchor chart one my 89 and my 200s here so I've got to get past there however pretty good chance I've right we've rolled over all right so I want to go because this is such a good bounce I'm bouncing here bouncing here and bouncing here I want to go for at least 40 to 60 dollars in this move now my first target is to take this out so if you're trailing okay going for a larger move now's the time to do it now before we go to the live charts and just here um, let me just uh, show you this what I want to do we just I want to go point of tracking uh, let's just go global because I want to show you on another chart a little technique where you can pick these runners up if you want a rule to do it okay now this is what we call the 8 by 8 and you can set this up uh, on any um, uh, any platform using certain type of moving averages the way we do this now see that entry you had up there okay now there's two ways of doing this you can either stay with it and I've actually had this coded for trade station where it plots the dots but and, and by the if you're a trade station user I give you these with all the others I give you the foot it's really easy to set up okay so down here you can stay in this all the way down here until you get this pinching and then you can re and sustain all the way down but even better still look at your anchor chart one see it there you stay in you stay in you stay in to way down here okay you can pick up these uh, big runners now see this here right there look over anchor chart one what have I got there it is there I've got a bounce I've got a bounce I've got a short right there now the next thing I do want to do is we've now broken this and just before we sign off and go to the live charts we're heading down we're heading down note the angulation we're having a very large move here at this stage see how we're coming down way down here now let me just show you on this now what I'm looking for on my anchor charts here is I love divergence trading but I know how to do it over time you'll learn this look at this now 
just there. See how I've got divergence just there and see how I've got divergence here, traders. This is what we call a 2D, a 2D, a double divergence on higher time frames. My target with those is the 89. And in fact, we can see the floor pivot, not the floor pivot, but one of the pivots, one of the S's is just above, okay? Where's, where's my entry? On the close of a third candle, my stop goes just below. Okay, so, well, that's not good. No, I'm still in it, okay, All right? Now, I'm after ideally seven. Now, here, I've easily hit, let's just see, I've probably hit seven now. Now, as we're heading up, you want to tighten your stops, okay? Because we're probably going to, and there it is right there. I would be out just there, okay? You've got, we've gone up there, we've hit the pivot. You can see we go a bit further, okay? But we've gone up there and hit that. Now, all of these are nothing more than patterns that are mechanical patterns that we see in the market. So let's now go back uh, to this chart here. And let's go back to, live where we are right now. So this is the Globex session and this uh, central standard time is 21.40. So we are live here right now. So remember what we were talking about traders is looking for on our higher time frames having our EMA bounces. All right, so let's just go back over here. So what we're looking at every time is um, is do I have a trend? Let me just check the time of that move there. That was 20, oh yeah, that's, that's fine. It's 2100 just there. Remember our T12? What was the rule of a T12? Do we have a bounce off a major EMA? Right there, yes I do. Where is that? That's it, right there. Now remember, what you're doing is we're waiting for this candle to close to confirm the move, which means we're not gonna be in to here. And thank you very much. Now you look at that and think, yeah, it's not much, but that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a forty dollar move per contract. Now it is a CT, a counter trend move. Okay, so let's just quickly look at this here. Sorry, we're bouncing around here. Now look at this T. You've just had. See that right there. See that there? What have you got? You've got there your 34B on a higher time frame. Now, look at this over here. You've got your bounce here. Now, you learn to recognize these. Do I have three lower closes there? No, yes, yes. That's your 34B, that is your 2B. So in looking at this, you've got a 34B cross 2B there, you've got a 2B here, 34B there, and a 2B here, there is your $100 in that move for the day. Now, is it exclusive just to the NQ? Well, I love the Aussie dollar. Being an Aussie perhaps helps. Uh, if I then go to the Aussie dollar, let me show you my preferred chart with the Aussie dollar. Where are we here? Take this one here. All right, so if I look at here, but exactly the same thing. I'm looking at my, do I have a trend? Let's just go back here. And this is where, oh, this is easy, you're pointing it after the fact. Well, traders, this is nothing more than rules, okay? The rule is, do I have a fanning of the EMAs? Well, here, I don't know, okay? Here, I don't know what I've got right now. Oh, by the way, you had a, a trade there, which I would have been stopped on that one. I had another re-entry there, I had one there, and I had one there. All of those were profitable. Now we're starting to, we are in chop. So when we're in chop, what do I then want to do? When I'm in chop, I wanna wait, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen. So to do that, we wanna see a break down here. We wanna break these lows. Uh-huh, that's good. Okay, now what do I do? I'm not gonna jump in on this one. I'm gonna wait for a retracement. Back we go, back we go. Bang, there it is, there, right there, there's my entry to go short. Now, what's that look like on the anchor chart? 21B, thank you very much, and away we go. Now, you look at this here, and now here, 
this is the Aussie dollar, which is um, uh, in November for CME, and this is the currency futures. Now, of course, you can trade this straight on the, um, the Forex market, no problem. I love the currency futures because your commissions are around $5, round turn, there's no market makers, it's just a much fairer way of trading. And now it's $5 a tick. One of the best parts is this. If I've got a five tick stop, that's only $25 per contract. Six tick stop, okay? So if I'm using what we call a sell stop here, okay? Remember when I said to you I'm waiting for three lower closes? If I put a sell stop, I wanna have it down here, one tick below there. So it means I've got a six tick stop. That's $30. So I wanna get a minimum really of six to eight ticks back uh, in these moves. So as we're coming down, thank you very much. You just had one, two really nice moves. Now, what have I got just there? I've got a 34B just there. Now I won't, be, by the way, you had a 21B just there, by the way. Uh, oh, this is, this is uh, where we are currently with price action right now today. Now, looking at this, what have I now got? Look at that. I've got a double bottom with divergence here, little bit of divergence, and even though I've got a special custom MACD, you can set the exact same up on a standard MACD using my formula. Okay, so uh, this is a counter trend trade. Look at the strength of a trend. Let me just start quickly pause this. I need to have some water. Okay, back again. Now here, remember, I haven't had my three higher closes yet, so I don't have an entry there. Okay, once again, you go the three higher closes or three lower closes. Now there are exceptions. Okay, um, for an example, if we're trading the ES, even if I'm trading this market, uh, but when you're trading the NQ uh, or the micro NQ, I wanna have Rather than entering on the first candle, I want to see three high closes or lower closes. Why? Because it's very whippy. Now, the, the thing I do prefer, the NQ or the MNQ over, say, the ES, you get a much greater trading range. Okay, so you'll get a really good trading range, which just makes trading a lot easier. Now, as we finish, let's just go back to the NQ where we are right here as of now. Entry, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And right there, see this here, we've got a triple bottom. Look at your divergence here on your higher time frames. But initially you trade just with the trend. So traders, let me just summarize. Following the formulas that I've just given you and all the strategy, you can kick butt with this. In fact, one of my members said to me the other, what was it, um, what did he say and call it? Um, I'm just trying to see if I can see that he had a nickname for the NQ. I'm just trying to find the handout. Uh, oh, I can't find it. It was something like um, uh, the, the NASDAQ Nally or something like that, but I can't remember now. But it was because of the terrible reputation that it can have because it can be so whoopy. Here it is, the nasty NAS. <laughs> and uh, what this member now calls it is the nifty NAS, okay, the nasty NAS to the nifty NAS. Because traders, you can do really well. And the great thing on the micros to start with, you can have a much wider stop, which gives you more time to place your trades, uh, yet you've got a much lower risk. And as you can see there on these spreadsheets here, and you get this by the way, as a member, um, $10,000 a week within potentially 17 weeks. I've got to say potentially because what I can't control is you following the rules. And uh, what is really important, I suppose, and just on that point, if you're staying with me for a sec, is that I spend a lot of time with you. Well, let me just try to find this here. Is it in session one? All right, number one, are you a struggling trader? Okay, so we, we spend a lot of time on head stuff, but let me try to find the NLP folder. Uh, let's see, I think it's in maybe session two. But what I've got is I've, um, look, it could be anywhere here. There's so much as far as the handouts and whatever goes. But uh, what I did, I hired a hypnotherapist and I had him record uh, 
a number of scripts for me for my members. So when you become a member, I've got um, hypnotherapy scripts. I've got, um, uh, just look, there's hundreds of handouts, literally hundreds of recordings. But once again, you keep it simple when you start. Okay, that's, that's probably really important. So for $197, you get everything I've been talking to you about, but even more importantly, you can join my live coaching class uh, for the first month free. After that, it's only $97 a month, cancel at any time if you wish. So for $197, you get my entire program plus one month of coaching. And if you can't attend the live sessions, because I, I run them every Wednesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, US time. Uh, if you can't attend live, because I've got traders from all around the world, uh, you can watch your recording. Then thereafter, if you wish, you can continue to attend for only 97 a month. So traders, this ain't rocket science. What it is though, it's about following the rules. It's about patience. It's about discipline, okay? That's what this is about. So please go to my website. Um, I should have really said, um, please make sure that you subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, more importantly, go to my website, come and join me. So traders, thank you very much and you'll see me on the next video. Thank you. <music>